Hello guys and welcome back to another Hey Ankyo gameplay. Let us resume our journey. All right, so we know what is going on. The whole Imperial Holy uh, Holy Grail War. And uh, all right, okay, let's see. Boy, what's happening? Oh, is this the one? I think so. Ah, how pleasant. How very pleasant indeed to have one's plan go so swimmingly. Hmm, a ritual that could not possibly exist in any hypothetical version of human history. The impossible Imperial Holy Grail War. Indeed, this represents the culmination of all the independent research I conducted as a disciple of the Foreign Warrior. It is Zoman. So I do hope you enjoy the pseudo parallel world I have created, including all the many personal touches I have added to better suit my tastes. Oh boy. My dear Kaldians, when all is said and done, the last laugh shall be mine. And all the characters that say that ends up not laughing at all by the end. So unfortunate though, man. <laughs> I don't think that's happening. Alright. Uh, so please do enjoy what I have in store for you. Right to the very end. Okay. Wait, what? That was it? They just made a section? Or Doman's little evil speech. All right. <laughs> okay. Wow. Oh, so wait. Um, assassin. Um, who should I take? Caster. All right. Um, which caster should I let me take? All right. You know what? Let's do. Uh, wait. Where's the? There we go. And let's take. Oh, wait. I have Cersei with me. Should I use her? I've never used her at all, let's see. Oh, she's... Buster. Should I... I don't know. Nah, you know what? Let's do something. Uh, for now, I'll... Ah, uh, I don't know. Okay, I think... Like, the, the bond points are really, like, you know, very, uh, like, you know, I'm, I'm struggling. I'm, I want to take a few new characters and try them out. But then I'm like, oh my god, I need the bond points for particular characters. So I'm hesitating. For example, now I want to use Anastasia. But then again, like, you know, then, you know what, let's take this out. Yeah, like, I don't need Kaleidoscope if I have Anastasia. Like, I'm not using Musashi, so I'm not going to use Kaleidoscope. Let's see if I can use something else. Uh, what else? Can I use this? No. Oh boy. Alright, so I need to use a 3 star C. Uh, okay. Let's just use any 3 star C. Evade NP strength. What's this? One star. Undead. Yeah, you know what? Why not this? Hello, let's just use this. Because I don't want to take out the bond CEs, neither do I want to take out the other characters who who I want to increase the bond. The bonds are bond points are really good here. <sighs> gotcha. Guess I had it all wrong then. I wish I knew what to say. Don't worry about it, it's my fault for getting my own hopes up. I mean, it's still disappointing, but I'll get over it. Yeah, he thought that I was a servant, that he was a master or whatever. Ah, so you're not a servant after all, huh? Instead, the servant's this lady, and she's more of a scout than a spellcaster. I don't get it. Well, okay. <laughs> like... <laughs> well, the, the whole, uh, you know, like the whole Fate franchise is complicated so much, so... I don't blame you, Pintoki. You do not? Oh. I suppose I just assumed you understood the situation based on what Lord Suna said earlier. Yeah, he's a human. He's unlike the other servants. He wouldn't, you know, like... He's not brought from the throne of heroes. Oh. So that's why Suna let you guys go. I thought it was weird for him to give up a target like that. Now I got gotcha. you. It's all because you weren't the query he was looking for in the first... Alright, yeah. He got it. That explains... A lot... Alright, hang on. If you two don't have anything to do with the Imperial Holy Grail War, yeah, why are you here? Then what in the world are you? 
well, we are, we are a master and a, uh, and a and a servant. Oh, they're actually explaining everything to him. Hmm. All right. The prune theoretical phenomenon, law space, ray shifting, and singularities. Huh? I don't understand anything. I'm pretty sure he's going to say something like that. And basically, you guys are guests from way in the future, like tomorrow's tomorrow, tomorrow. Well, a long ways past that, really. Hmm. Man, this stuff's hard to wrap your head around. Yeah, I know. <laughs> but that's okay, I believe you. And as far as I can tell, you guys ain't the lion type. Besides, it looks like I was still right about something. You are lost, aren't you? I guess. True, we are. <laughs> So, you're looking for a way to get home and you want to find your friends you got separated from, huh? Wait, uh, oh, neither of them are caster. I was, I was thinking like the, the, the servants who came with us, is any one of them caster? No, Marsh and Kotar, assassin and shielder, so. Now we're talking. Don't worry, I'll have you back home in a flash. Oh, really? Well, I guess it might not be that easy, but the point is, don't worry. Whatever it takes to get you back to the Kaldia place, I'll figure it out. I'll get you home safe and sound, you have my word. Of course, that goes for you too, servant lady. Thank you for your help. I'm deeply gratitude, grateful for your kindness. Don't worry about it. Everyone needs help sometimes, right? Besides, it's not like I've got anywhere to go either. Hmm, what do you mean? Yeah, you're one of Franco's four heavenly kings, are you not? Yeah, I was wondering. And during the time period, Lady Minamoto no Raiko was charged by the Minister of the Left, Fujiwara no Michinaga, with the task of keeping the city of Kyo safe. So as one of her most prized retainers, surely you must have a house of two of your own? Or perhaps Lady Raiko has put you up in her own home? Well, uh, how can I put this? It's complicated. Hmm. Yeah, I'm part of the Genji clan and I am one of the four heavenly kings. But I've uh, got my reasons for wanting to keep my distance from Raiko right now. Oh. Yeah. Basically, I guess you could say... I kinda ran away. Ah, okay. <laughs> hmm. Oh, nothing to do in that case. Haha, <laughs> I'm glad you understand. Sorry about that, I wish I had a place you could stay. But the only place that I'd put you up... I put you up on my say so are once with ties to the Genji clan. Which means Brother Suna could show up there at any time. Yeah, so that obviously ain't gonna work. I've been staying out of his way for the past few days, but now that he said that he's gonna take a look at my hand the next time he sees me, well. I'm sorry, it's my fault. Hey now, that's what are you apologizing for? You're in a bind, so I helped you. Nothing to worry, uh, nothing else to it. These command spells marks on my hand ain't got nothing to do with you. Yeah, so I'm one like because he has a command spell. I'm pretty sure he must have a servant here. Like that's how it works. Doesn't, like otherwise, why would his command spell suddenly pop up? There must be, or they're going to be summoned in the future, like something like that. Because I guess that's what happened to Shiro in you know in Fate. Like when uh, before he, I remember before he summoned Saber, there were like traces of command spell kind of appearing on his hand. He didn't realize what it was. And then later on, he was able to, like you know, he he accidentally summoned uh, Arthur Ben Dragon. Uh, so I'm guessing something like that is happening since he has the command spell. It's either that he already has summoned his servant and that person is somewhere here and has not found him yet, or but I guess servant and master have like a connection. So if they were already here, yeah, like it wouldn't be that. Uh, yeah, it's, it's not possible that they have not found him. So, they probably still have not been summoned. They will be in the future or something like that. Otherwise, what's the meaning of the command spells? Alright. I owe you for helping me. I have to pay you back. So, that's how it is, huh? I like it. Alright then, you officially owe me a favor. You know, I'm okay with that kind of hard-headedness. Hell, I even find it endearing. Good thing too, since I'm pretty hard on myself. <laughs> okay. An ox drawn carriage at this hour. Must be the court noble on the way back from poetry reading or something. Come here, you two. Over here so you don't get in their way. Right. Is this someone we know? The ox car just stopped in front of us. What is Ono? 
Well now, this is a surprise. You tell what are a tall handsome man, a young boy in strange clothing and a beautiful black haired woman all doing out here in the dead of the night. Who is this? Are you perhaps looking for a place to stay? Uh, thank you for your concern, Miss Noble, but you don't have to worry about us. We're part of the Genji clan. Keeping you safe at night is our duty. I see the Genji clan, is it? Oh no. <laughs> Why so formal, Kaido Maru? Come on, get the stick off, out of your ass. Who? Kaido? That, is that him? Oh, okay, I should have guessed. It's Shei Shonaka. Go on, let your head down. Uh, head down. It's not like we haven't uh, already known each other. Wait, so Shei Shonagun? I guess she probably sh would have known Kintoki. They're from the same time period. And I think like, uh, oh wait, Sei Shonagun is here. So I'm guessing uh, Murasaka Shikibu is also here. Some, like obviously in this place, somewhere. So what's going on? If you need help, I, Nagiko, I mean Kyoko, might just be able to provide it. Yeah. <laughs> Whoa, Sei Shon... Uh, I mean, Kyoko, it's you. <laughs> Long time no see, Blondie. Wait, one thing. Uh, what, what did she call his, her name? Kyoko. Just a second. Uh, uh, Kidomaru, uh, Nagiko. Kyoko. Are these all her names? Like, I, I heard Nagiko. I, I didn't think I've heard Kyoko before. Have I? Like, so wait, so is Shei Shonagun like her official name or something? Like, oh, or is it her pen name? Just a minute. I think they explained this in her uh, in her event, but I probably forgot. Uh, Sei Shonagun, Kyoko Nagi. Nagi, so let me check. Nagi. Nagiko. Um, her actual name has been a topic of debate among scholars and the name Kyohara no Nagiko is a possibility. Ah, there you go. That's why Kyoko and Nagiko, I think that's what they called. Uh, Nagiko and Kyoko, yeah. Uh, and then what is Seishonagun? Actual, oh, Seishonagun's actual given no, name is not known. Uh, I'm guessing it's her pen name. Interesting. Alright. Okay, so that explains it. <laughs> Long time no see, Blondie. So what are you doing out here this time of the night? Anyway, you're looking for someone to keep help keep your bed warm or something? My god. I guess it has been a while, hasn't it? Uh, what, what was that about my... Wait, he, don't, he didn't understand. <laughs> Is that more of a mainland? <laughs> I guess. Poetry, I don't get it. <laughs> don't worry about it. I was just saying the first thing that came to my mind. Are you... Hmm? Hey now, cut that out. Hasn't anyone taught you it's rude to stare? The Shonago? Hmm. Oh. Well now, I haven't heard the name in a long time. Did you read a copy of some of my work or something? Bit of a bookworm too. Yeah, that's her pain name. Read anything good lately? I found something recently that is so... Wait, hang on. Have you met before? Maybe back when I was still in the palace? Ah, that can be. You'll still have... you still have... you still have... what? Oh, sorry. You'd have still been a little kid back then. Really, I wonder how old she actually is then. <laughs> well there, Fujimaru. There's two things you should never discuss with Seisho. Yoko. Her age and her name. <laughs> She's put a lot of work into making herself look young. You see, her real age is... Oh my god, yep. <laughs> hey! Ah. Lord Kintoki, Lord Kintoki, could you please tell us how you came to know this lady? Hmm. Ah, let me see. Well, I can't say exactly which family she's from, but Kyoko here is a genuine noble. I know you two might not have business with the palace right now, but if you're gonna be staying around the city, it won't hurt to take this chance to introduce yourselves. As for me, well, back when I was a kid who just couldn't get used to the life in the big city, <laughs> let's just say she helped me out a few jams. Yep, that about sums it up. Oh, that's why he should call him Kido Maru. Probably his name when he was a child. I know, I might not look like it, but I actually love helping people out. I see. 
According to the story it's told in Edo period, Lord Kintoki was born several years before Lady Seishona. Several years before. What? Wait, 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 wait. Before? Then how? But in reality, it seems that like Shonagu was actually the owner of the tree. Oh. Is this like actual, an actual thing or this is like a fate, the way fate uh, kind of changes the story sometimes? Is that what is happening here? Okay, of course this would hardly be the first time a heroic spirit did not exactly line up with the real life counterpart. I mean, in my case, I'm a puppet, so... Anyway, what's going on tonight? Oh, does it have anything to do with Lord Michinaga's daily scheme? <laughs> As if that's narrow, that would narrow it down, considering how many schemes it's got going on. Nah, I just ran away from home, and I'm still running. Hmm, I see. Something happened, back at the main Genji house, or maybe Lord Mitsunaka demanded Lady Raito give up her leadership position. Mitsunaka. If it's going down how I think it's going down, then Lord Mitsunaka has been a real piece of work. My bet is he wants Lady Raito to give up leadership while keeping her in charge of fighting and stuff so he can declare one of the other kids leader and force her to form a branch clan attack. Oh. What's the main house gotta do with me running away? Nah, this is my own little screw up. I guess I could have left the city altogether but there's reasons I need to stick around. So I was just trying to think of a place where we could take shelter for the night. Hmm. Mm hmm. I see, I see. So I need a place that would be brave enough to take in three stranger visitors in the middle of the night, huh? Lucky for you, I know just the place. Whoa, you do? Yeah, it's my place. Or something like that. Isn't she going to say that? I sure do. I'd invite you guys to stay at my place. Oh, no, never mind. But three new guests at all. All at once would be a little much for a semi-tired woman like me. Now come on, follow me. Let's get moving again, driver. Yes, ma'am. Oh, the driver even has like a little... <laughs> you get in the carriage with Kyoko, Dan Kyoko Danso. Don't want you tripping in the dark and making your injuries worse. Thank you, but I will stay by my master's side. It's okay, Danzo. You should ride in the carriage. But what about... Well, Kintok is here, so... It's okay, get as much rest as you can. Yeah, understood. Thank you. Well, looks like you and me are walking there, Fujiwano. Man, this sure is... What's a heck of a coincidence running into you guys out here like this? Lucky I did too. These days, not even the main roads are completely safe. Oh boy. Sure can't hurt to have a warrior of Genji around just in case. I see. I feel like there's something... Like enemies are going to pop up or something. Speaking of Seishonagun and the Genji, I believe her brother Lord Kyohara no Munenobu eventually loses his life to someone from the Genji family. Oh, okay. Not that I can say anything about that now. The main roads are usually pretty safe, but things have been weird ever, even on them the last few days. Last few days, huh? Well there, looks like Kyoko was telling the truth. Fujimaru. Yup, enemies. There's something dead ahead. I see him. Don't worry, Danzo, you stay put. Me and Fujimaru can handle them ourselves. Alright, let's do this. Well, technically, I don't think I can help Kintoki in any ways because I'm not contracted to him. He's like a human, so... All of that. He'll have to do it on his own. Alright, let's use Anastasia. <laughs> And there you go. お願い。すべてを呪い殺し、奪い殺し、凍り殺しなさい。魔眼起動。死んで。死んで。うん。
りにかけて輝きに死んでシス As you can see, I've not used Anastasia at all, so she spooked me suddenly, and I already have like an I, I kind of use Sherazade most of the time for my you know arts when I need some arts AOE caster. Ah. All right, um, art, um, assassin, and uh, labor. All right, so archer. Who should I use? Archer. A O E arts archer. I don't think I have one. So. Wait, isn't Helena arts? I think so. Or, or is she a... Yeah, there you go. Yep, she's an arts archer. Okay. I don't even know which characters I'm fighting. Yeah, you know what? Screw it. Let's go with this. Like whenever there's two characters, you know, as an enemy, I always think which one is the big boss. <laughs> All right, let's go. Damn, it's been so long I've used Helena. I usually don't use her. Even her, <laughs> everything's like level 1. Okay, so... This, this one Wow, her NP generation is really good. Yeah, it, it, her attacks hit a lot. Let it use uh, the noble phantasm. Okay, 
Oh boy, come on! Ugh. I don't have a proper offensive character to deal with this thing. There you go. That took too much time. That's the last of them. Nice job. Thanks, you too. Anyone hurt? No? Great. These kinds of battles don't bother me at all, but... Is there something else bothering you? Well, it's just... What? I'm a little unsure about what to do. What? Okay, we're here. What is this place? Ever heard of the tale of Genji? It's all the rage in Kyo right now, yep. Well, it's all from Murasaki Shikibu. Oh, she brought us to Shikibu's place. Okay, there you go. It's all from Murasaki Shikibu lives here. Oh yeah, she's from this time too, isn't she? <laughs> is Lady Murasaki a friend of yours, Lady Kyoko? Yeah. Nah, I've met, never met her. You haven't? But I'd bet anything she's like the most graceful, noble woman's noble woman. So I'm sure she is the type of girl who never abandoned anyone in trouble. Come on, she's gotta be too old to be called a girl by now, right? <laughs> hey? Ah. Anyway, the point is we've arrived Murasaki Shikibu's, at Murasaki Shikibu's house. She's a lady in waiting for Empress Soshi. So when she's not writing stories, she's working at the palace. Ah. I don't know if I'd feel right asking someone we have never met before to put us up for the night. And she has also not met her, so... Hmm, in that case... Just tell her that Kusano Yori sends her regards. Kusano Yori? I'm pretty sure, no I'm positive she'll know what that means. Haha! <laughs> hmm... Alright, my house is over there, so this is where we part. See you guys some other time. Bye Kyoko! Thanks for the help! But wait... We just ran into some monsters not too long ago. Is it not dangerous to travel along the main road at night with only a bare minimum of attendance? Yeah. Not necessarily. Noble carriages like that always have several shikigami. Oh, interesting. They might not be able to handle a Suchigomo, but they're kept out by the bounded field. The only bureau set up around the main roads anyway. But the carriage shikigami can handle any smaller monster that comes around no problem. Oh, I didn't know here and security was so thorough. Personally, I just as soon not have to depend on any of Omyoji for the help. But times being what they are, I can afford to be picky. Picky gun. Then why did you and Master defeat the monsters we encountered earlier? I guess because we were there. Oh, that. Well, I was sort of just giving Kyoko a show to thank her for her help. And I totally enjoyed it. But that doesn't mean you should take too many risks out there, okay? Because if there's one thing I hate, it's people dying young from a little mischief that got out of hand. Alright, I'm really going now. Good night. Okay, let's go and ask this Lady Murasaki here to put us up. Oh, there she is. Um, I'm sorry? Um, would you want a go? I do beg your pardon, but... Wait. 
I'm guessing that's her actual name. Uh, Murasaka Shikibu being her pen name. Fujiwara no Kaoruko. What is Fujiwara. Okay, there you go. Yeah. Uh, Murasaka Shikibu is a descriptive name. Her personal name is unknown, but she may have been Fujiwara no Kaoruko. It was mentioned. Okay. But it's written here Kaoruko. Uh, oh, Fujiwara no Michinaga brought her to the uh, like, you know, gave her the was invited. Okay, okay, she he invited her in as a lady of waiting to Empress Soshi at the Imperial Court because of her reputation as a writer. I do beg your pardon, but. I'm afraid I just don't understand what this is all about. For starters, who in the world is this Kyoko person you mentioned? Wait, she doesn't. I, I guess. Wait, what? I recognize you as Lord Sakata Kintokyo of Genji family, of course. I've seen you around Lord Michinaga's mansion a number of times. That's me, and here I thought we were meeting each other for the first time. Sorry for not recognizing you from the Minister of Left's place. Oh no, that, that's quite alright. I mean, what what is it that brings you to my house at this hour of the night, Lord Kintoki? Wait, just tell her the whole... Um, wait, what did Shonago say? Something? I forgot. Did, um, did I make a terrible mistake at the palace or something? In, res in retrospect, we probably should have expected she would respond like that. <laughs> I agree, Lord Fujimaru. Do forgive us for intruding so late. Ah, don't worry, Lady Murasaki. You did nothing. You didn't do anything wrong. I am. Um, I only use that name when I'm writing. So, <laughs> please just call me Kaoruko. Oh, okay, got it. Anyway, don't worry. I know Brother Suna likes to play and at being an officer, but that ain't my thing. We ain't here to bring you in for any wrongdoing and all. Actually, we kind of need your help. Ah. <laughs> Gasp of realization. Come to think of it, Lord Watanabe no Suna did appear to be dressed like a police officer. Yeah. And yet, as far as my records show, there's no mention of him ever actually serving as such. Huh? Really? So that's how things are in the future. You don't have exact records of anything and everything, huh? See, Suna's not exactly a typical proper officer. When he was first ordered to protect the city, he said it was only right for him to learn how to be an officer too. He went to the bureau on his own and asked them to make him one. Hmm. He's nothing if not responsible, that's for sure. Huh. Records. Lord Suna? Well, obviously she'll be confused. Kaoruko? Y yes Susano Yori said to give you her regards. Susano Yori. What? Susano Yori? Then that must mean... I see. Lady Shonago sent her message, did she? Okay, see, she does know her, like, she didn't know her other name, like, her original name. Even though I've never met her in the palace, or ever so much I've spoken to her. I see. V very well, I suppose it should be rude for me to turn down any guests on such a cold night. Alright, I'll have a room made for you. Well, two rooms, since you have a woman accompanying. Wait a minute, Kusano Yuri, what does that mean? Kusano means grass, I think. Kusano Yuri, Yuri, what does Yuri mean? Uh, okay, there's nothing written here in the internet, so I don't know. Yuri, what does Yuri mean? Yuri. 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 Oh, herm hermitage retreat. Oh, so wait. A hermitage of grass? Is, does that is that what it means? All right. Oh no, that's quite all right. Please pay me no mind. It is my duty to keep my master safe first and foremost, after all. So I would ask that you let us share a room, if that is all right. You're fine with that, right, Kintoki? Uh huh. <laughs> uh yeah, I, I guess so. 
That probably is for the best given the circumstances. I see. But very well. I'll wish you. Uh, I'll convey your wishes to the servants. Are you truly certain about this? Yeah. Please pay no mind. I see. Very well then. Uh, you're very um open-minded, aren't you? And free spirit, judging from your manner of dress. Oh boy. Stop. Well, she doesn't understand what the hell she's saying. <laughs> no, it's good to finally take a load off. I'll have to make this up to Kyoko somehow and to Lady Kaoruko, of course. Master, Lord Fujimaru. We have been fighting a great deal from the moment we raced to jail, so please get some rest. I will focus on doing the same. You better, I don't want to push myself anymore, you've recovered. You are too kind, Master, rest assured. I will be back to peak condition by tomorrow morning. And most importantly, I can finally begin following our original itinerary. Whoa, the servants even laid out Chitone for us. That's real considered for them. Chitone, that's the kind of mat used for sleeping, right? And they gave us hot water too. <laughs> this is a real nice change of pace after several days of spent, uh, spent camping out. <laughs> Plus, if I'd stay out there, it'd probably just be a matter of time till Raiko found me and gave me a good scolding. I can almost hear her telling me, You're no longer on the mountain where you grew up, Kintoki. <laughs> Makes me nervous just thinking about it. I was kind of hoping we'd get Raiko to help us out too. Get Raiko to help us, huh? True, Raiko would definitely be willing to believe all the crazy stuff you've told me. She's a lot more open-minded than most warriors, that's for sure. But uh, now's not a good time. See, boss Raiko hasn't really been herself lately. Oh. She's been holing up in her house since the Imperial Holy Grail was started. Oh, interesting. And see, she didn't even come out when she heard that both brother Usui and uncle Urabe had been injured. I don't know if she's just broken up about the idea of her fellow Genji fighting amongst themselves or, or if she's one of the masters too. Yeah, I was wondering. Maybe that's why. Senpai, oh, finally, here we go. Mush is her. Master. Oh! Ah! What? What the? Are those ghosts? No, wait. That ain't it. <laughs> ah, I think I've seen this kind of thing somewhere before. This. Some kind of sorcery on Omnio spell of yours? I guess, kind of. You mean someone developed a method of video transmission? <laughs> Even in the Heian period? Um, but never mind that now. Master, in accordance with our original plan, I've activated my full functionality. And I've just succeeded at establishing contact with Novankalia. Okay, there you go. Way to go, Danzo. <laughs> that rhymed. You're too kind, Master. Novankalia, so this must be the place way off beyond tomorrow's tomorrow. Damn, this is really something. Good, the video connection is holding steady too. I can see you, Danzo, and... Oh, is that... Is Sakata Kintoke of Heian Kyo? Thank goodness, you're both okay. And I see you've already managed to secure help from one of the locals. Does this mean you two weren't able to raise shift here then? I was wondering, what happened? I'm afraid so. Oh my god, they're not here. I was thinking, I was like, why is Marsh wearing her lap coat? Like, shouldn't she be in battle gear? So they're not here. That's correct, master. Oh god. Did something interfere with the raise shift? We believe so, and Lady Shion's calculation said that the most likely explanation that's the most likely explanation as well. Both Lady Marsh and I were unable to raise shift there, and instead we were left behind at Novel Kaldia, Novum Kaldia. We quickly tried to raise shift again, of course, but I'd failed in the same way. It appears to be an advanced jamming method that bypasses every anti interference safeguard we have in the place. <clears throat> we're looking for a way around it, but we still have yet to come up with anything. <clears throat> I'm so sorry, Master. Damn you, Limbo. I'm glad to see you're safe, but the situation here isn't great. Uh, the reason you and Kato Danzo were the only two to ray shift there successfully is that whoever was interfering with it considers you two special cases, yeah. In the other words, you were basically welcome guests. The, wait, the, why the hell did, um, like, we saw at first they said that uh, Danzo and um, Otaro, they were allowed here, which means uh, the Doman put out an invitation, like as they said in their words, they said like, it's as if Doman put an invitation, that's why only these two can come. Why did he extend an invitation to uh, Kotaro as well? Like if she could, he could have only done that for Danzo. Why did he include him and then just exclude him? What the hell was the point in that? I don't understand. 
I see, so nobody besides us is welcome here. But who could be the one inviting us? I'm sorry, that was foolish of me. This has limbo written all over it. Yes, I agree. That is most almost certainly the case. Not until like you know like you know what? Uh maybe like maybe like the the fact like we're thinking that limbo is the one who invited these two, but maybe that's not the case. Maybe someone else tried to summon uh Danzo and Kotaro while Limbo actually was able successful to stop one of them, which is Kotaro and obviously Marsh was also there. Kotaro and Marsh were able to stop two of them. Maybe that's what happened. Who knows? Because we're kind of already think like you know we've kind of this is like a it's like a I, I think we've accepted that Limbo is the one who sent out the permission to let these two in. Maybe that's not the case. Otherwise, it doesn't make sense. Why would they he first allow Totaro to come and then just block him from coming? Like, what the hell is the point in that? Hmm. Sorry, but to butt in, but there's a lot of things I'm not getting here, and one thing I'm gonna make sure of. So the companions you guys thought you came here with are back in Kaldia place, right? That right? Yeah. Got it. That's great news. Great news. This means we don't have to run around searching cure for them. Oh yeah, that's true. Right? Yes, that's true. I feel as though we may have been saying the same thing in different ways, but yeah, this does mean we have achieved one of our goals, though without acting. Actually make that too, since we also managed to find a local willing to help us. And that just leaves investigation and repairing the singularity. Right. That puts us in a much better spot now than we were in the right after our ray shift. Indeed it does. Now we can finally begin the operation in earnest. There you go. That's the spirit. My god. Get <laughs> knocked on the floor for having a backslap. <laughs> Are you okay, Senpai? I'm Kintoku. Do you think you could pull your slaps a little more next time? Oh, sure. Sorry about that. So, hey, you there, the tiny pretty one. What's your deal? You're not just an ordinary kid, right? I'm sensing something powerful from you. You an Omyoji? A sage? Maybe some kind of thing? Tengu? Why? Why Tengu? Not that I know if they got those in your time. Hmm, was the tiny part really necessary? <laughs> oh well, I can roll with it. I can't deny that I look pretty young in this form. Anyway, I'm Leonardo da Vinci, friend of Fujimaru and an unparalleled genome. Wait, when did da Vinci... when was da Vinci... here? W was it in this time? Like obviously, it's not on the, she, she wasn't in Japan, but the time period I'm talking about, is it the same time period? Damn, you're so honest to goodness prodigy, huh? Uh, that's real impressive. I'm Sakata Kintoki, Genji Warrior, nice to meet ya. And I'm Sherlock Holmes, it's a pleasure, Sakata Kintoki. <laughs> oh, looks like we got yet another new guy here. And there's something about this one that reminds me of Lord Seimei. Ah. Man, Kaldia must be a hell of a place. Interesting, like, I remember, like, you know, uh, who was it? Like, they, they called uh, Sherlock Holmes a sage. Who was it that called him sage? I don't remember, but there was one of one or two characters who called Sherlock Holmes as the sage. The sage of human history or something like that. Which is kind of interesting because, um, yeah, like, it, it, he does kind of give, like, a similar vibe that uh, Abe no Seme would have. You know, calm, cool, that type of a persona. Alright, here is the situation we, as we understand it. We believe that both Fujimaru and Kato Danzo were explicitly invited to the city of Heian Kyo in the year 1008. But then why was Kotaro also provided the invitation and this just booted out? What was the point in that? Invited by whom, you must ask? Limbo, naturally. Yeah? While it was unfortunate surprise to learn that Marsh Kirialite and Fuma Kotaro was unable to accompany you on your ray shift, everything else has unfolded just as we predicted. Limbo has gone out of his way to create a new singularity, a black mark on human history. His targets are almost certainly you, Fujimaru, for being an obstruction to his plan so many times, and Kato Danzo, with whom he has a history of sorts. I doubt his plan here is to achieve final victory, rather his goal is likely to be toying with you on his home ground, nothing more. Now that he has cut you off from any kind of aid and he seems focused on boxing you both in all sides, he has clearly forgone any pretense of strategy in favor of indulging his proclivities. 
found and steeped in death and pain as they are. And that is all there is to say. I suspect that he may have someone helping him before you could reshift it here. But I am at this stage absolutely certain no such collaborator exists. Oh, Limbo is the one behind this and he's acting entirely on his own. What about the uh, original uh, Asha Doman? What's he doing? Is he here then? <laughs> um, are you still not quite recovered, Holmes? I may not be back at 100% just yet, but for something this obvious, I assure you I'm more than equal for the task. I mean, it doesn't get more obvious than the bad guy outright signing their work. I gotta tell you, I was not expecting to see a bunch of letters in the logs for Martian Kotaro's failed race. Oh, really? Letters? That's right, the letters. B. E oh god, O U M A N. Oh, very subtle, though. One. So, what this guy put his name in some kind of message? Yeah, why would you do that? Like, what the hell? What? Oh god. Indeed, this is clearly Doman telling us he's the one behind all of this. And that's supposed to be some kind of joke. <laughs> yeah, like what? What type of weird... Oh boy. So basically, whoever this guy is, Limbo or Lord Asha Doman or whatever, he's outright daring you guys to come after him. Huh. Did I? Could I be a real piece of work to straight up sign his name like that? Indeed. That said, I still do not understand. If Limbo's goal is to seek revenge on us, then what is the point of this Imperial Holy Grail War ritual? Yeah. An Imperial Holy Grail War? I've not heard of that term before. Tell us everything you know. Okay. Really? So the only servants being summoned are casters? That's certainly a decision. Sounds as if he's taken the whole Holy Grail War concept of summoning heroic spirits and downsized it or something. But if he did it like that, then this Holy Grail's capacity for granting wishes couldn't possibly be... Yeah. Omnipotent? No, it certainly couldn't. Which means the part about the winner having a wish not, it must be a lie. True. Like, there's only casters here. In which case, what if the Grail were restricted to a single function only? Oh. Okay. I think that could work. Oh, yeah, okay. Maybe, maybe. Maybe they're actually sacrificing casters. That's why maybe the Holy Grail is going to work in a different way or something. The idea of using heroic spirit souls as an incredible source of magical energy has been around since long before Holy Grail was were even a thing. And another thing, like as, as she's saying, like as a source of magical energy, I would guess casters have way more magical energy than, you know, maybe sabers or riders. So is that why he's actually choosing casters? If he just wanted to use them as a power source for a single goal, it wouldn't matter how unbalanced that source ended up being. I think, yeah, it could definitely work. Well, our resident Umo Universalis says it would work. I, for one, am inclined to believe her. Then if we assume that this Imperial Holy Grail War is designed with a single purpose in mind, the next question to ask is quite naturally be, what is that purpose? Personally, I suspect it to transform the very world itself. Do you mean, as if to change the world in whatever the way Wisher desires? Hmm. Is there a particular reason to think that? Oh. Naturally. Think back to the events of Shimosa. The great ritual was held there involved the deaths of countless human souls and several heroic spirits. And as a result, Shimosa became a pseudo-parallel world of some sorts. A pseudo was lost by the Hmm. <clears throat> That's true. According to our records, Shimosa's only Riedo Castle was functionally equivalent to Lost Bell's Tree of Emptiness. Oh, you could even call it a pseudo tree of emptiness. So maybe Limbo's planning to use the Imperial Holy Grail War as a means to create something similar. So he can make Heian Kyo into a Lost Bell? Mm -hmm. But why would he want to do that? Hmm. Perhaps he wishes to have the Foreign God manifest in the Heian Kyo. Oh. Would that be. Would the Foreign God's early manifest be. Hmm. Precisely, now that the Fawn God has manifested in Olympus, they should have no further need for a vessel. Unless perhaps a spare? No, I cannot see any way a transcendent being of that magnitude would require some, anything like a spare. And let's not forget, with nothing but cast of souls in the mix, the result's not exactly going to be balanced. 
Like I said before, it's no easy feat to keep the magical energy source for such a massive spell stable. Even if the ritual is designed to just for a single purpose, any imbalance in the hero spirit soul used to power it could still cause the whole spell to implode. Okay. Hmm, there, there must be some trick we are not seeing. Unless maybe the whole thing is just some kind of a twisted prank. Read. Oh lord, what's going on? Huh? Oh crap. We are losing our connection, senpai. Perhaps Limbo finally noticed our connection, or perhaps he wants to cut us off before we realize something he'd rather we not know. Yeah. Regardless, Fujimaru, it's absolutely imperative that you stop this ritual from being completed. If ever every hero expert man materialized there is killed, Kayankyo would be subjected to a new pseudo tree of emptiness, just like what happened in Shimosa. And that would result in two concurrent and existential threats to proper human history, a singularity and a lost belt all in one. Wow. That's just a possibility for now, not a certainty. But either way, you watch your back out there. We'll continue trying to establish contact until we get through again. So please keep your comms line open. Got it. Senpai. Oh. That's it. Oh, okay, great. Again. Oh my. It seems I got a bit carried away. <laughs> Really, Kaldias, you could at least try to secure your communications a little. As it is now, it's only took a flick of my fingers to sever them entirely. Ah well, in any case. I think that detective explained quite enough of my plan. We do not do need to save some surprises for later after all. Now then. What's he doing? Master of Kaldia, my beautiful marionette. Hmm, from this point onwards, we will be engaged in a contest of pure strength. Come and let us compete to see which of us can slaughter the most innocents. <laughs> Boy. Alright, I think that's it. I think I'm going to end it here. Let's see. Yeah, I'm going to end it here. Okay. The next one is... Heal Diaries, section 4. Alright, so there you go. Uh, oh, wait, it's it's morning. Okay, I didn't realize it. Alright, so that is it, guys. Uh, that is my gameplay for uh, Hey and Kyo. Now, we have met a few people, and wait a minute, so we went from this place to that place. We, we covered a long distance. No, that's Murasaki Shikibu's place, I'm guessing. And maybe Sh Seishonago's place is somewhere here or here. Probably somewhere close by. Uh, so, there you go. Alright, so, so we met two more characters uh, from this uh, time pe period, uh, Sei Shonago and Murasaki Chikibu. So that happened and uh, yeah, like we, we got shelter, we had a little few battles, we were able to establish contact with Kaldia for a moment and we kind of got a little bit of a more, um, more what's, what do you call, more light on the actual plan on Ashia Doma, what he's trying to do. So yeah, there you go. I, I'm kind of wondering if, like, Holmes said that Limbo is the only one who's doing this. He's the mastermind here. I'm wondering what about the original Asha Doman? Is he here? Let's see. But either way, I, I'm sure he's here because Abeno Seme is here. Asha, they also talk, said that the Asha Doman is also here. So I'm, I'm, I'm guessing, I'm wondering, maybe we'll meet him or something. Let's wait, let's wait. So yeah, that's it. Thank you for watching. This was my gameplay for Hey Ankyo. So yeah, if you guys enjoyed this video, be sure to press the like button and subscribe if you're new to this channel or you haven't subscribed. And comment down below anything you want to say, anything you want to let me know. And I will check them out. That's it guys. So thanks for watching. I'll see you guys tomorrow with another uh, gameplay video of Hey Ankyo. Until then, goodbye and have a nice day.